for other big stories at six. An historic transportation bill moves forward, but not before Governor McDonald is making some major tweaks. Fixing the roads isn't quite a done deal yet. We have seen from Chopper 10 many times, including tonight, where crews were forced to come out during rush hour to fix a pothole at the Monitor Merrimack Memorial Bridge Tunnel. Our area needs money for the roads in a big way. And from those potholes to more lanes, the bill will cover it all. And the governor's changes offer a bit of give and take from our wallets to pay for those projects. Ten of your sides, Ann McNamara is here to break it all down for us. Ann. Nicole, this bill is historic because it will change the way we pay for roads and transportation. There's a shift from one source of revenue to another, and not everyone is happy about it. In a day full of talk about amendments, the governor says citizens should focus on one big change, a shift in the way we pay for our roads. Right now, the gas tax is a main source of revenue, but this new transportation bill will use funding from the sales tax instead. The gas tax will go down 35 percent, the sales tax up ever so slightly. Speaking of taxes, the governor's amendments will lower tax increases when you buy a title for your car. The governor says the change will benefit auto sales. Owners of alternative fuel vehicles will be happy to hear this one. The annual fee will be reduced from $100 to $64. And when it comes to real estate transactions, congestion relief fees will also be lower by $0.10 cents for every $100. But there's one amendment that's attracted more attention than others. Governor McDonnell avoided a constitutional crisis. The General Assembly proposed taxing localities like Hampton Roads, who have more traffic than most. Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli says that's not legal. Let's say we were mad at Arlington. Well, let's just tax Arlington more. Well, you can see why you might protect localities from that sort of a problem. So Governor McDonald changed the bill's wording to say the state can tax certain areas if they fit a congestion criteria. The only two places that fit the description? Hampton Roads and Northern Virginia. Cuccinelli says the amendment is legal, but that doesn't mean it will be supported by the General Assembly. Now the mystery turns to the General Assembly to see who votes how and, and what, what comes out of next Wednesday. Next Wednesday is the day the General Assembly reconvenes. Cuccinelli says expect opposition to this transportation package. Meanwhile, Democrats are praising the governor for avoiding that legal battle over taxation. I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side.